yeah, just prove that I'm better, man. Uh, beat this guy who's a really, you know, people are calling him the next guy. So beat this guy and then uh, punch my ticket to fighting for the belt after this. Is that is that the plan? Have they kind of told you that at all? Or are you just take care of business, do what you got to do, and then there's no denying you? Uh, I think that there's no denying me, but also Dana said on uh, on during the fight announcement on his Instagram that it was number one contender fight. What do you think of, of Umar? He obviously has not been in there against the competition that you have. So to say that there's levels to this, you might be a higher level, obviously the biggest opponent he's ever faced. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm the best guy he's fought. He he might be one of the better guys that I fought too, though. He He's really well-rounded. He's a uh, really good striker a really good grappler so he, he's got a lot of the tools uh you know that make a really good fighter he's got he's got a lot of attributes but I, I think that you know my experience my the adversity that I faced inside that cage already and then also just my skills already you know like I'm a very good grappler and I'm a very good striker as well so I, I'm really I'm really ready and uh really looking forward to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and everything in striking and grappling and just showing over and over again that I'm the best guy in the world and proving that so I can fight for the belt next. How about, how about the card itself? Uh, an ABC card in Abu Dhabi, the main event is pretty special to be part of. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is my third time in Abu Dhabi. This is going to be my sixth main event. Uh, I'm only six years, maybe seven, six years into my UFC career and I got six more left in me and I'm already main event in my sixth show. So uh, I mean, it's awesome. You know, I, I, I'm comfortable out here in Abu Dhabi. The fans are great. They're, they're not, uh, they're not, uh, super biased. Like you, you get sometimes in the U S and in England and stuff, but, uh, they're, uh, yeah, they're good fans and uh, I'm pumped for it, man. I, I, there's something about traveling overseas. that's really cool. It's very like Kung Fu movie esque. uh, like enter the dragon blood sport. Some of my favorites, some of everyone's favorites. So some about traveling to another part of the world and just, be you know it being such a journey and a mystery is is a really fun portion for me when you go to sleep at night is there a way that you envision your hand being raised come saturday yeah i mean i, I really i'm gonna make this a good one you know like this is gonna be my best performance that i that, I, that i've had and uh you know i i think that it can go a number of ways i think that the later that this fight goes the better i'm gonna do and i definitely can see myself you know, watching him get tired and then me either submitting him or knocking him out uh, in the later rounds. You say it's the title contender, which it clearly looks like it is. The title fight coming up, they just finally announced it at, at Noche. How do you see that one going down? Is it is there, would you rather face O'Malley or would you rather uh, face Marab? Oh, yeah, Let, let's fight O'Malley, man. That That's the fight that everyone wants to see is me and an, me and an O'Malley. Uh both of our attributes the same. What O'Malley does best, I believe I do better. And I think that he's got his handful big time against Marab, but I do think that he'll be the winner of that fight, just being the better striker and the better controller of space. And I, I think that uh, I'll be rooting for him, man. I, I think that a fight between me and O'Malley is already one of the most exciting matchups that you can make in the UFC. And if you put gold on the line for that, I think it's going to be one of the best fights of the year. You obviously have to see what happens this weekend, and it might be a quick turnaround, but any interest in being being a backup, being ready for that, or you'll just wait your turn, see how that plays out? Yeah, I mean, they'd have to offer me a decent amount of money because I, I feel like I would have definitely like earned it, deserve it. Uh, not that I'm the type of guy that likes to think that I deserve too many things, but after this win, like I deserve it.